Skulls and Bones. I'm Mark here with the one and only Chris Adler how, of every band ever now, but how are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, right? I'm um, doing good. A little tired, but yeah. uh, it's our second night in New York. I'm stoked, man. Yeah, which, I mean, last night you guys absolutely killed it, man. What did you think about it? I absolutely loved it. It was yeah. one of my favorite shows of the tour. Uh, felt great. The energy was great. And it's, it's unusual, too, because New York always seems kind of, I don't want to call anybody out, but as far as shows go, a little bit spoiled. Yeah. Uh, but, man, it was, it was one of the best audiences of the whole tour. It was yeah. great. Really, really good. Well, I, I, I had fun watching you because it seems like there's still moments where you look out and you're playing behind Dave and you're like, I'm really still doing this. Like is Every it, single night. Every single still, night. <laughs> dude, I mean, honest to God, this is the reason I started playing drums and, yeah. and, and started playing music just in this direction at all is because of this band Megadeth. I shouldn't even say drums because when I first was a fan of Megadeth, it was because of it's a guitar band. It still yeah. is a guitar band. Yeah. And I knew that going into you know, playing on the record with them was let those guys shine, find my spot in the back and you know, just be a good backbone to what they got going on. But yeah, every single night, it's just like, wow, that's Dave, that's David. Like, I'm in the band. I'm in the band that made me want to do this. It's, it's pretty incredible. That's awesome, man. Well, Dystopia was obviously incredible. You've seen the reviews. People are loving it. People are calling it, you know, the quote, unquote, rebirth. And you hear, like, the comments that Dave's saying how much he loves the band and the chemistry in the band right now. Like, how cool is that for you to be a part of that and, to, like, actually hear yourself on it? It's, it's pretty neat. You know, you kind of expect, when I first got the call, you expect to go in as a session guy. Then he asked me to tour, and I expect to be kind of the weekly employee but yeah. we really are having a great time and we're friends and we're joking around we're going on nascar rides and tank rides and going curling with david ellison up in canada it's just like ridiculous <laughs> stuff it's so stupid but like we're really having really having a good time and it is it's it's really great you know i, I certainly can't take any responsibility for it but uh it's great to be a part of you know kind of my favorite band coming back to life a little bit you yeah. know not not that they ever went away exactly but you can yeah. see you know the difference with this record and, and the numbers and how it's been you know the response to it is, is different so again not i'm not taking credit but it's nice yeah. nice to be a part of yeah you're yeah a little bit to do with it though <laughs> <laughs> if you say so all right if i say so so you talked about like driving tanks and skydiving and all the crazy stuff you've right. done but you're also doing these really cool meet and greets for the charities that yes. you talked about i yeah. mean where did this idea come about? Yeah, well, we do. Um, you know, Megadeth does a, a nice meet and greet every day with the uh, fans that sign up for the package that they offer. And I was thinking, you know, this this is a great way. I think it could be a great way to, to do something for good, you yeah. know. And I was talking to a really good friend of mine that uh, helped me come up with this idea where these funds could go to something other than just myself. You know, yeah. I've got I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine. My bills are paid for a couple of months, you know, <laughs> and uh, I sent sent little money home now and then uh, so all is all is well on that front so you know if I could do something that to give back that would be great so my wife has a, a condition called Ehlers-Danlos syndrome mm -hmm. and so just kind of mentioning that just becoming people becoming more aware of that is a, is a big part of that in itself but for me to be able to contribute to the foundation that's looking into research to try and help people that have that it's a awesome. degenerative joint dis disorder leaves people in a lot of pain there's not a lot of hope uh, with that so it's it's um, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm able to, more than just being there, or, you know, so uh, hardly, uh, it's tough because I'm not there for her. And yeah. so it's, it, you know, that, that is something that I can do and feel good about doing. And then there's this uh, World Food Program that is helping a lot of the children. They're actually one of the few agencies is, that's getting into this kind of Syrian uh, refugee problem and they're feeding the kids where, you know, the parents have been yeah. slaughtered and this genocide that's going on over there. And, you know, politics aside, it's, it's food to starving kids. It's good stuff. So. Yeah. You know, and it's 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 just me meeting with you know whoever feels like meeting with me. I didn't even expect it to work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, I I actually have a there's a I'm doing one today. Uh, I've, there's a Starbucks nearby. I'm going over there, meeting a fan. He you know he got in touch uh, via the auction and said, hey, can I bring my CD and my you know drum skin or whatever? And I was like, man, bring whatever you want. We're just gonna kind of shoot the ship for yeah. you know a half an hour, and you know it feels good, man. It's cool. And every yeah, I've done probably ten of them along the way, yeah. so I've been able to you know contribute a lot of money. I've also met some really cool people. Yeah. You know, the other day I did one with a, uh, a couple that was uh, coming to the show later on but the, even in the, you know it was it was a great experience because one of the, the people that were there uh, was a terminal cancer patient so it was kind of like I was there to do something good for some somebody else but you could see how much yeah. kind of the light in their eyes like this is a special moment for them too so you know it, it works all the way around and I met some really cool people and so you know keep keep it going on yeah do you think like with future tours you'll continue to do that type i would of thing? like to yeah, yeah absolutely um lamb's not much for the for the meet and greet kind of thing mm -hmm. uh, i think maybe if we did it for charity that'd be a different thing so um that's something to talk about but yeah I, I definitely would like to keep doing it yeah it seems to be working that's awesome i mean i was when i was watching last night speaking about lamb your technique i've seen you i don't know 15 times 
for okay, Lamb of God. Well, so I, yeah, I have a problem. But you know, <laughs> but then like watching you last night, it seems like you did kind of tweak some things. How much different is your playing with Megadeth when it comes to Lamb of God? I've, well, I've just gotten to the point now with the, we did a world tour with Megadeth, and now we're doing the U.S. tour, and I'm really just now after you know months and months of touring with them getting to the point where I'm comfortable so oh, I can yeah? really kind of rock out to these yeah, tunes yeah, yeah. you know and I, I've never really learned any cover songs before this and then so it took me a long time to get cover, to get comfortable because even though these are songs that I listened to since I was a kid you know they're of course they're fresh I've never really tried to play them so I'm <clears throat> except for the new stuff um, so I'm just getting to the point where you know I'm comfortable doing it but stylistically it is it's much less um, it's 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 more physical in a way because I'm, I'm really laying into the parts, mm -hmm. but it's, it's less kind of um, challenging, I guess, on a physical level because most of the, the Lamb stuff and, you know, looking back on it in comparison anyway, it seems like it's all just one big drum solo, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm really, again, I'm trying to be the backbone for these, you know, amazing guitar players yeah. so they can do their thing and, you know, stay out of the spotlight. And um, But at the same time, you know, I'm here for a reason. You know, Dave's a smart guy. And so, you know, I'm trying to, to add in my little things here and there. But I want to be true to the to the songs. I'm a fan of the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're playing Wake Up Dead, Wake Up Dead should sound like Wake Up Dead. It's not the Chris Adler show back there. I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. So, you know, some of these songs aren't that easy. So, mm -hmm. you know, it still requires a lot of attention and, and me, you know, really kind of focusing in on stuff but it's a lot of fun like playing tornado souls or something like that you know that's just like so ingrained in my mind yeah. you know is that just, your favorite like the play would you say when, well when i saw that when i first when we first got the he dave sent the the set list for the world tour that we started in china yeah. and when i first saw that set list and i saw that it was on there i was just like yes <laughs> i mean that was such like the anthem for me in high school yeah, you know yeah. and, just, and now you know playing it, it's just like i'm just going nuts back there like i don't even know what i'm playing but it's just such, <laughs> such a great song you know i love it it is man yeah. it is well, very cool i was thinking about like your whole career which is pretty cool especially with this because megadeth obviously influences generations and generations and sure. lame of god is doing the same thing now and for you to be a part of both do you does it kind of give you more motivation to keep Lamb of God like going for as long as Megadeth is? Or uh, it does. It, actually, to be honest with you, what it does right now is okay. So now we've had this. You know, I, I'm a big. I'm a part partner yeah. uh, in Lamb of God, which we you know agree has yeah. probably come farther than anybody expected it to go, and and we're all very happy with where that's at, and plan on absolutely continuing. But then you know that made that a success, or was a part of making that a success. Now joining the band that made me want to do that, seeing it kind of come back to life a little bit, it's like I almost kind of want to like hang up the shoes. You oh know? yeah, <laughs> you're like I'm done. <laughs> yeah, be the be the Pele of, of metal drummers, you know, just kind of get out of the way and just, you know go out on top. But no, um, absolutely, you know, Lamb still has a lot of fire left oh, yeah. left in us, and uh, you know, I think I really think in many ways, maybe not every song, but um, for the, some of the material on Sturm and Drang mm -hmm. was some of the best stuff we've ever written. Oh, yeah. So I, I definitely think there's no reason for us to, to bow out of the race at this point. And you're right, we do hear that now from these younger bands coming up being like, man, you know, you, you guys are the ones that made, made oh, yeah. me want to play and all this stuff. Even the tour assistant on the Megadeth uh, run, he's just like, man, I remember sitting around with my friends when I was 14 and we heard the double bass on Black Label and it's oh, just yeah. like, what is happening? <laughs> and it's just like, wow, like it, this is really, it really is kind of coming full circle. So I don't think we're in the business of doing it just to, you know, kind of, you know, necessarily, you know, have new bands pop up. But it is really that that circle. Like when the first time I met Shannon Larkin, you know, yeah. like telling him like, wow, man, you know, your playing has influenced me so much. That kind of circle is, is really special part of any musician, you know, oh, yeah. and being able to kind of just make somebody happy or especially turn them on to, to their creativity or, um, you know, get get involved with music. It's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Well, we'll let you get ready to meet and greet some upcoming fans. If you could that's a plan. wrap up the last, let's say, year and a half of your crazy insane life homeless. in one word homeless 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 <laughs> that's fair that's every fair. day it's a new bad new i don't know where i am Let's but do, do you rest Groundhog you do rest thing. sometimes right we, we well we have a boss so there you go you can lay down if you get the time if you get between, the time <laughs> between interviews and you know shots of jaeger yeah you can there, you go. there you go there you go chris thank you very much Thanks for taking all the time dystopia is out right now you know it go pick it up if you haven't